Recording in progress. Hi everyone, I am so excited about tonight. These are some of my favorite calls. Any call where we have people sharing stories about how Plexus has helped them, whether with their health or, <coughs> excuse me, or with their finances or with community, whatever that might be. If there is a story where Plexus has helped improve some area of their life, I guarantee you, you will have people crying on this call because this is some th this is why we do what we do because we see that there's life change and there is goodness that can come from this whole entity that is flexus with health with finances with community with uh, personal development all of the things and so tonight we're going to be focusing on the business opportunity we're going to have a few people share their stories super fast of how the business has helped them and their families, how it's changed things for their families. You have people that um, go from like they weren't working at all to um, part-time to full-time to multiple jobs. You have pretty much every single one of us were skeptical. So if you are here and, um, or if you're watching and you are skeptical, you are in good company. But the fun thing is that now all of us have massive belief in these products and in this opportunity and that's why we're here sharing because we want other people who may have maybe in the shoes that we were in years ago skeptical broke as a joke on this hamster wheel feeling isolated looking for community looking for like purpose and passion in what they're doing helping other people um being able to speak to somebody other than a two-year-old that's in their home what whatever position you're in right now i really really hope that you will walk away from this call one feeling excited like what if like what if this could be something that could change things for me and my family the way that it has for carrie abby kylie emily and so many other people what if this is an area that could help my health or to, could help me have like solid friendships what if this could change everything for our family and so um we're going to spend the first couple of minutes with a few of these ladies who are my dearest friends slash one of them is my sister so family too um sharing a little bit of their story and then i encourage you to stay on we're only going to be on here for 30 minutes but i encourage you to stay on and listen the last couple of minutes i'm going to be talking through what does it look like to do this business how do you run this business um because I think that's really important to know. Okay, here it is. This is this is something that's amazing. Okay, now how do you do it? So hopefully you guys will stay on. I'm gonna introduce my very dear friend. She is beautiful and she has arm muscles and leg muscles that you all want, but she does lots of squats and she runs lots of miles. So I don't want it that bad, but I'm gonna pass this off to my dear friend, Carrie Compton. You are too funny and you give me way too much credit as always. Thank you, Emily. Um, okay, so obviously we all love the products that's why we're here and that's why i started even though i was incredibly skeptical just like emily said i had tried them before they didn't work for me but it's a true story because i wasn't consistent so when i stuck to it and i realized oh these actually do work if you do it the right way 11 months into my plexus journey i thought you know what i don't want to keep paying for this like i need it in my life but i don't want to keep paying for it i knew that it was possible to get my products paid for and then some um but i didn't have belief in myself but what what Emily did for me was she believed in me when I could not see it for myself. She saw that, yes, you can do this. And as much as I love and adore Emily, I also knew that there was nothing like super special, unique about her and her skills that wouldn't allow me to be able to do the same. So 11 months in, I decided to go and let's just, let's do this. Let's see what it can do for me um, as far as the business goes and sharing. And I'm not a person that decides to do something just half-heartedly. And I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, I'm, I'm just going to go all in. Like there's going to be no back door. I'm going to go all in because why not? And you guys, I did not have the time for it at all. Um, I had at the time I had a 17, a nine, a six and a one-year-old. Yeah, you heard that right. They, they're they a little spread out. Um, I was working multiple jobs. There was literally no downtime. But here's the thing, you guys. Is there ever time? Like, we have to prioritize what's important to us. And for me, 
time was important, time with my family. And I knew that if I could get to a place where I could do plexus and leave the other jobs behind, that I would have time. And that's what I desperately wanted was the time flexibility. It had been a prayer in my heart since my 17 year old at the time, she's 21 now, since she was a baby. I looked at her and I thought, I want a job where I can stay at home, work my own hours, but actually make a good income. And for 17 years, I was convinced that that did not exist. And here this was right in front of me. And it had been in front of me for 11 months. And I thought, you've, you've got this. Like, this is this is it. This is your answer to prayer. But y'all, I fought that for a long time. Like, for several months, I fought that because I thought, I don't want this to be the answer. I don't want it. Because I was letting my pride step in front of what could have been an amazing opportunity for my family. So when I went all in, I, I, Emily asked me, do you have a back door? And I said, no, I'm not, I'm not, this, there's no back door. And so about a year and a half after I started, I decided I really wanted to be able to do this full time, but I'll be honest, I didn't have the faith to walk away from my other jobs. I, those were like secure incomes, even though I was miserable at them. And, and one job in particular was very toxic environment and it was pulling me down. And I remember my husband even saying, you've got to get out of there. You've got to get out of there. And circumstances came about that not only was I allowed to leave, but I was told to leave. Um, I lost my job. I lost one of my jobs, my steady jobs. The other one was lost during COVID. And here I was. Thank the Lord that I pushed my pride aside a year and a half before that, because had it not been for Plexus, our family would not have been able to handle the major cuts in income. Um, and so that allowed me the time flexibility that I had so longed for. And you guys, actually, when I went all in and I invested the time and I stewarded the opportunity really well. Now, keep in mind, this was a part time job. It wasn't like a you know six figure income, but I tripled my income with Plexus compared to what I was making at that part time job that was so toxic and so terrible for me to be at. So when I say this is an answer to prayer, it truly was. It's not, you know, people like to say that this changed their life. And I used to roll my eyes at that, but it really, truly changed our lives. And now my one-year-old is five. He'll be going to kindergarten next year. I've had people ask me, what are you going to do next year? Are you going to go back to work? I'm like, I work y'all. I, I do work. And so I'm I'm going to devote my time and still be able to drop my kids off at school, pick them up at school. I just came from a basketball game with my son. I had to leave town at four o'clock. I, I didn't have to ask a boss if I could leave work early. I can go to my daughter's spelling bee in the morning. I can go to her class party next week. Like I don't have to ask off work or worry about paid time off. And that to me has been absolutely huge. So when I share this with people and they can see the possibilities of what it could be. It, it won't happen overnight. You work hard for it, but it is so, so worth the hard work, y'all. Um, I feel like I flew through that, but I don't want to monopolize the call. And I want to introduce sweet Abby, who is Emily's sister. I have gotten to know her just through Plexus. She has a gorgeous story that is still blooming. And so I'm excited to hear from her. Hi guys, Carrie, I love your story. I love all the parts of it and all of how your kids have watched you grow up. Like they've been growing up watching you work from home. I think that's really beautiful. Um, teaching them work ethic. I think that's really important. I am setting a timer. I am a long-winded friend. So I am setting a timer because time is important. We want to be respectful of that. So um, like Carrie said, I am M's sister. Um, my story with Plexus, we have been on the products for about two and a half years. Um, but our story with Plexus actually starts about three to three and a half years prior to that, when my husband and I actually unfollowed my sister for sharing about Plexus. <laughs> so, um, he and I are both in kind of like the health world. I'm an elementary PE teacher. He is a former exercise physiologist and we've got a garage gym. You know, we work out, we eat pretty well. Like we see this pink drink coming up on my sister's social media. And we're like, what the heck is this? And then we keep seeing it and that it fixes all of these things and it helps with all of these things. And we're just like, oh my gosh. Then we start seeing that she's making money through it. And we're like, dang, this has got to be some kind of scam. <laughs> so I say that because 
if you are someone who is skeptical, if you have the same thoughts, if you have been rolling your eyes, you are so welcome here. I think pretty much every single one of us has had at least one of those thoughts, if not years worth of those thoughts. And so it is okay. You are so, so welcome here. We understand it, but ask your questions, be skeptical, but ask your questions. And so, um, moving, moving forward. Um, so we started the products two and a half years ago. Um, I had started to get a little bit curious, you know, I would pop in and out of my sister's social media, like, okay, she's still doing it. Yeah. She's still doing it. I roll. Okay. So still just like keeping tabs on all of this. And then eventually you start hearing about gut health in, um, in news and everything like that. And so then I'm like, Hmm, maybe I'm a little curious and my curiosity just kind of continued to build. And so as it built, it's kind of just this perfect timing of everything coming together for me to want to start. I did not start for the products. I started for the business. We were already healthy. I didn't think we'd see any changes from the products. Um, we have seen lots of changes from the products, but there was a halftime teaching position. I'm like I said, elementary PE teacher. There was a halftime teaching position and we had been talking about wanting to start a family. This was right when like the pandemic started and everything. So we applied for the job. We took the halftime position. And then later we realized, Ooh, we do need to supplement that income. And so at this point, like I said, the curiosity had been building and I just asked some questions. I was skeptical. I asked some questions. I thought, okay, fine. Like she bought her dream house. I noticed that that caught my eye. Her dream house is in our parents' neighborhood, which is not an inexpensive neighborhood by any stretch of the imagination. And I'm not saying that to boast. I'm saying that because it caught my eye and it was like, oh, well, if she can do that, maybe I can do it. If she can, I mean, that's my sister. Like I watched them go from paycheck to paycheck to dream home. Like I know that thing was expensive. And so that curiosity just continued to build and we decided, okay, we're taking this halftime teaching position. We're going to go all in with this whole plexus thing. It's probably not going to work, but you know, my sister did it. So why not give it a try? But you guys in six months, we are supplementing the other half of my teaching income. Um, I am now at home half time. I get two to three extra days with my daughter every single week. Um, it has been such a gift. The days that I work are ridiculously hectic because you have, you're on somebody else's time schedule. And so it's a beautiful, beautiful gift. And when, when we say it has changed our lives, like it really has, like I got to watch my daughter's first steps. She's taking her like saying her first word, she's sick right now. Like I got to be home with her today. And so it has just been such a blessing and such a gift. And so, um, you know, something that's really important is like that I've been working through lately is it's okay to want to earn a living from home. It's okay to want more for your family than what you currently have. Um, whether that's a home, whether that's, you know, paying all the bills on time, that that's okay to desire more. It's not selfish. And so I just want to throw that out there. Um, but that's, that's my story. We are actually on track to also be continuing to have me full-time at home, um, next school year and not be teaching at all, which is my biggest, biggest desire to be home with babies. And so, um, with that, thank you guys for listening. Um, I'm going to send it off to Kylie Bell. She is a physical therapist. She is a boy mom of three and <laughs> I love her story. She didn't want the business either. So, um, Kylie Bell, you come take it away, sis. Thanks girl. You're right. I did not want the business. <laughs> um, so I actually started Plexus three and a half years ago. Um, and I had never been approached about Plexus. No one had ever shared it with me and I'd never heard of it before. So it, it was kind of like a blank slate. I live in Fayetteville, Arkansas. I didn't even know what, what was in Arkansas before I got here. So I kind of just jump with a leap of faith, hoping that God's got it anyways, because he always does. And so, um, I had zero preconceived notions. Um, and, uh, a friend of mine was having trouble nursing her baby and because the baby had gluten, soy, and dairy allergies. So I that caught my eye because she could eat whatever she wanted and her daughter wouldn't get sick anymore. And I was like, I'm in healthcare. There's nothing out there on that on those shelves that says gluten, soy, and dairy free. <laughs> That's air. <laughs> That's pretty much what's left. And so, um, and then my PT friend, um, she had posted about, which is why we share is because you just never know who, who God's going to reach with your, with you sharing. And so, um, 
So we just have to step out in faith and know that God's, you know, his word never returns void. I just think that that's so important to remember. Um, And so she had shared about how it was making enough income for her to stay at the job I had to leave. Like I literally left that position and she took my position and um, I had to leave the setting I loved in PT to go make double the income to be away from home from 6.30 to 7.30 at night to literally basically start a family and only get to see my boys um, just to put them to bed. And that was not momming to me. Um, I started when my, I have boys that are five, three and a half and one. I started when my middle one was three months old and I was really struggling with postpartum and I didn't know it. Um, And so the products changed my life, literally. Um, I was able to not want to kill my husband on a dime, um, which is kind of important. Um, and I also was able to be present with my kids and I had, I didn't realize my sleep was terrible. Like I slept, I thought I had good sleep cause I required eight hours of sleep. And then I didn't realize I was waking up feeling like I was hit by a bus. So if you require multiple alarm clocks, if you wake up already tired, or you're just already at three o'clock dreading for the day to be over, you probably have terrible sleep. P.S. Um, so that being said, um, when I started, my friend Kara had said, so there's this opportunity. I said, don't touch me with a 10 foot pole on the business. I'm not here for that. I feel terrible. Like let's fix me, you know? And so, um, that was the goal. Well, the only word she had to say at the time was you had access to seeing what a virtual office was. And so I wanted to know, because of my credentials, I wanted to know what Plexus was and if it was something I could like actually legitimately back from my license to make sure that I was connecting and sharing things that were authentic. They were, um, what are the words I'm thinking about? That they were high quality and they actually did what they said they were going to do, you know? And so anyways, so I looked at the company And I was just shocked. Like, I was so grateful to see and sift through myself because I didn't know they were a breast check company. I like that was their very first product was to help people with breast cancer. And I feel like that just aligns so much with my heart of helping people. And then on top of that, then the infamous pink drink for balancing blood sugars. I'm in home health PT, diabetics, congestive heart failure, COPD. Those are like trifecta. (laughs) And, and yeah, so Um, and so I actually, when I realized that the products literally did what they said they were going to do and beyond what I had ever dreamed, um, I started sharing because I was ticked at healthcare and because we have a system that's completely failing people. And it's just so disheartening to me when I see patients that have a pain level seven out of 10, they're on 20 million meds and they wonder why they're hurting and you know, there's no hope. They have zero hope in their eyes or in their heart. And it's really, really disappointing and really frustrating. And so I wanted to make a difference for that, for people to be able to know there's something else out there that they could actually have control over their own body and get their life back. So they could be the moms they wanted to be and the grandparents they wanted to be and be present for all the things. So Kara didn't even get to tell me about the opportunity because I told her no. So I started sharing and lo and behold, God bless this business where then COVID hits. And because of me sharing, God totally provided and he replaced half my PT income at that time. And I was laid off as an essential uh, healthcare worker in the middle of COVID. And let me tell you, when I say he boomed my business, I'm not even playing. It was doubled the amount by the beginning of COVID because people were open and looking for answers to feel better and to be present with their family and to earn income because there's so many layoffs and guys we're in literally the great resignation right now people need this opportunity like they need a space that's going to help them and help their families and the fact that this literally has quality products has amazing compensation i've never seen anything like it before and a company that has loyalty and integrity and honesty to a fault, like literally, I've been to corporate, I've met the the CEO and the president, and they are godly men. And I feel like that you will never find anywhere else, literally in the people that you meet and serve. And so it has been a huge blessing. And this community of women that are on here are amazing. And some I've never met in person. 
and we feel like we've known each other forever because we're that close. And so I just want to encourage you guys to step out in faith because the people that invited you here, they love you and they truly want to share something that has truly changed their life. So I'm keeping it together and Emily is next and she is an amazing woman. And so I cannot wait for you to get to hear her story. And thank you for letting me share. Thank you, Kylie. So you guys hear like so many different stories, but I think the common denominator is this has given these women along with thousands and thousands and thousands of people opportunity. It's given them time freedom. It's given them um, like power to dream and actually like actually dream. Those dreams don't have dust on them anymore. They haven't been pushed to the back anymore. They're brought forward because they know that's an opportunity, that they're in an opportunity that absolutely can provide that. And so what I'm going to talk to you guys about tonight, real briefly, I have nine minutes, nine minutes to tell you guys how to make millions of dollars here with Plexus. So let's just hold on tight, people. All right, so I'm going to do a quick screen share with my fancy little PowerPoint. I have set up. Okay, so as this is pulling up, um, very quickly, my life has been changed. We were a ministry family. Um, from the time we got married, we were very tight financially. And I pushed Plexus away for years and years and years because I didn't want to be that girl. But for four and a half years, I saw people that I knew and I loved and I trusted seeing life change. And when I say life change, I don't take that lightly. Don't take that lightly. Don't like let that blow off your shoulders. Like they were able to pay off crazy amounts of debt that gave them like helped with their stress level, you know, helped with their blood pressure level because they didn't owe $150,000 anymore. Um, I saw people being able to um, take their family on mission trips. I saw people being able to uh, change things for their family by moving their family to a better school district, uh, moving their family to a dream home, being able to give more generously. And I wanted that for our family. And so I knew because for four and a half years, I sat back and I watched, I knew that it was possible. And I knew that I could do it because my friend who had gone and done it, she believed that I could do it. So once I finally got over, what are people going to think, all the fears that I had, and I finally realized, you know what, this is going to be the vessel to change things for my family, and I'm going to do this. And like Carrie said, I didn't have a back door, and so I think that that's why there, there has been just this beautiful success. Like, I knew that this is where I was taking my family. I had too many big, huge dreams for my family to not to not push hard for this. So um, I'm gonna talk to you about how to earn an income with Plexus. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, um, so there are four pillars here with this business. This business is simple, does not mean that it's easy, it's simple. There are four pillars that you need to have that you need to constantly be growing and working. Now, depending on how aggressive you want to go, like if you wanna be making a couple hundred bucks a month, you're still going to be going at this, you're still going to be using this uh, system here. You just may not be doing it at the speed that I was doing it, where I was in my, I was working every single day and I was putting in the work, putting in the hours because I wanted to get someplace fast. And I was able to get to the first like top part of the company in 18 months. And then 18 months after that, we were able to get to the tippy top. And that's because I was approaching this at an aggressive speed, um, but know that whatever speed you want to go, this is this is what you need to have to have a strong, sustainable business, to have a strong income here. You need to do recruiting. You need to do, this is fancy, retaining, retaining your people. You need to um, learn how to duplicate, how to help other people get money in their pocket, and then you need to have leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership. So leadership is a very important pillar with this business. So let's talk about the first one. Um, I'm going to move this because I'm afraid you guys may not be able to see it. With the recruiting, number, step one, it's, it's simple. You invite, you share, and you follow up, and then you repeat that. And that is something that is a non-negotiable with this business. When you invite somebody, that means 
hey, Lace, like I know that you were talking the other day about how you have really bad headaches. I don't know if this could help you. I've heard other people talk about how it's helped them. Have you ever looked into Plexus before? That's an invitation. I actually was listening to um, a training today about a friend whose sister-in-law didn't do Plexus because the sister-in-law just didn't invite her. The sister-in-law was waiting to get an invitation, but her sister didn't invite her. And so she didn't do it, even though she was intrigued. And so inviting does not need to be slimy or salesy or schemy. It needs to be from your heart because you believe that what we have to offer what Plexus has to offer could really help and change things for this person or these people. Then the next part in recruiting is sharing. Um, you do not have to be a, an influencer. You do not have to have all of your ducks in a row and have a beautiful white couch that doesn't have stains on it and um, you know, be a size two to be able to post on social media. You just need to be willing to share. Share my story, share your story, share what you're learning. Don't be a don't be an infomercial. Don't share Plexus and vomit Plexus all the time because people aren't going to want that. You need to be adding value. So um, different things that you can be sharing to add value, such as you know great recipes or fun things to do with your kids when when you have the have Christmas break or DIY Christmas gifts or um, ways to stretch your body after you've pulled a muscle skiing or whatever. Like adding value to people. That's part of the sharing and that's really fun actually. Facebook and social media can be really, really fun and really rewarding if you use it in the right way. And the last part of recruiting, I would say, is following up with those people. Most likely, when you invite somebody to come and hear more about Plexus, you more than likely are not going to have them say yes on the first time. For my friend who invited me, I said no for four and a half years, and it had to be my time. And part of that was me seeing her sharing. Part of that was me finding the value in what she was offering for me because of the way that she was sharing. And so that's a very crucial part of this business. But following up with people, and so I'm going to walk you guys through um, what this can look like. So first step in um, recruiting is inviting. I'm going to, I actually, well, yes, I will read this. So uh, do I have another one? Actually, I have a different one. I'm going to read this one. This, this is a little bit shorter. So inviting can be like, you making a list of a group of people that you feel like could really benefit from the products, people that you think would be amazing at the business because they just love people well, they're driven, they have integrity, they're hard workers, um, they, ha they have you know great character. Um, inviting people like that to come and do this. So here's an example. This doesn't have to be scary. So, hey, Sarah Beth, I know that you've shared that you blank, you struggle with whatever, or you want you love to stay healthy or you would really love to stay home while bringing in income like you're seeing her and what she's sharing i know that you've shared that stuff before i'm not sure if this would help you the way it has helped has many of my friends who have seen relief in that same health struggle or whatever but i thought i would send it your way in case you'd never done any research on the products or opportunity if that's what you're talking about do you know much about the plexus supplements to me that is that person focused. It is not me focused. That is me saying, hey, I know that you have uh, shared this as a struggle, as a goal, whatever. Don't know if you've looked into this. Don't know if this would help you, but here's, here's something that maybe you should look into. So that's part of inviting. Here's a first post idea talking about sharing. That's really, really important. And that is a non-negotiable when you are wanting to have a business here. Um, this is an example. I just ordered the best natural and plant-based probiotics and supplements. I have to give a shout out to my friend, so-and-so, for introducing me to this product. I cannot wait to have the clean energy, better sleep, curbed sugar cravings, and the balanced blood sugar that she raves about. I would love for someone to do this with me. Who's in? Or another one is, I'm so tired of feeling, whatever, blah, tired, exhausted, fatigued, chubby, whatever. I tried ABC and nothing helped. My friend told me about these products that have helped her with blank. I was skeptical, but also desperate enough to try anything that might help me. I also knew I could get my money back if I didn't love it and I was banking on that. I've been taking these products for X amount of time and I'll be honest, I'm feeling XYZ. So as you can see, this is just like an example. We do not promote at all copy and paste. We want you, everybody on our team, to share from their heart. We want your personality to shine through, but these are just some pointers, some ideas. And then here's another idea for follow-up, because remember in recruiting, it's reaching out, inviting, it is sharing on social, and it's following up. 
Here's an example I sent out to a girlfriend of mine a few years ago. Hey Mia, I saw a really incredible testimonial from a gal that made me think of you and the health struggles you shared with me. Would you be open to me sending it your way? Again, it's about her and I'm not attached to this. If Mia says no, if Mia doesn't respond, I, I don't get my panties in a lot. I know that I've done what I was supposed to do by reaching out and sharing this with her. The next part of your pillar is retaining customer care that comes from you know retaining means keeping your customers and that doesn't happen all the time because people are looking for quick fixes so you will have people that quit that's part of this business but you can work hard at trying to retain in certain areas such as customer care send your person a letter like a quick little note saying hey thank you so much for signing up with me shelly i'm so excited about this product or these products for you and your health goals of x y and z i can't wait for you to get started thank you so much for trusting me troubleshooting helping them get started on their products and here's the thing i know nothing about science or supplements but a lot of people on my team do and so i can reach out to them we have a great um, pro, we have a great back office that helps us um, with when to get started, how to take your products, and so you get to help your people as they're getting started. And then you also get to create team culture. So that was a big thing that a lot of the ladies talked about on our call just a minute ago of this team culture, um, and that retains people. Relationships mean people want to stay around. So that's part of that pillar retention. The next pillar is duplication, and we're flying through this, but it is simple. I hope you hear this. It's really these four areas that you really just have to hone in on and repeat and grow in. So duplication, as you see here, this, this is our team, part of our team. We have thousands and thousands of people on our team, and so this is just a small iota, but these are the business builders on our team that we love deeply. Um, and so the way that you duplicate is me plus three. That's kind of a simple way that Plexus has it, where it's you, you've got your products, you're taking your products, you are a product of the product, and you're inviting people to come and do this with you. And so the goal is to have three new customers come and do this with you every single month. That's the goal. And the fun thing is you get dupl or you get really great bonuses on that. You get referral bonuses on it. This month, um, you earn a North Face coat for free if you have three customers come and do this with you. Um, so that's duplication. And that is extremely important for you to grow and to have a strong business and a strong paycheck. Um, here's a quick example with um, duplication, building your belief in those people. Here's an example. Hey, so-and-so, I hope you and your family are doing well. I just cannot get you off my mind. I know that you would kill at this business and I'm looking for someone to run and do this with. Have you ever heard of Plexus before? Again, that's an other person focus and a, a beautiful invite. And then you need to let them know what's available. Let them know about you know, the, the cash bonuses. Let them know about the fund incentives. Let them know about what their average income could look like. Let them know what, you know, once you get to this level, you earn, you know, a free Plexus Lexus and a trip for two to this like glorious, expensive, beautiful, exotic location. Like letting them know what's available is casting vision. And so as you can see here with December, like I said, you can earn a North Face coat if you add three customers. If you add six customers, you earn two of them, and they're sending them out as you earn these. So you might be able to put some under the Christmas tree this year. That's amazing. I mean, those suckers are expensive. And then you can see here with the cash bonuses, this is not, this is not like you're making pennies. I mean, do you guys see that? Lots and lots of, of opportunity here to grow for your family. The next thing is helping them this duplication we're still in the duplication pillar helping them the way that you got started so rinse and repeat so what you did to start your business is what you help your person do it is simple invite share follow up help them with an event get them in touch with me do a three-way message it's super super simple just repeat 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 and then the last pillar is leadership leadership is so important as you can see in this picture these are um, some of our leaders on our team these all are jewels on our team that have um, changed so much for their families through this organization and through their leadership john maxwell says an organization cannot grow beyond its leader and so leadership is extremely important and as a team 
we are very, very passionate about leadership. We are very passionate about growing ourselves, growing our, our leadership, that personal development, um, learning from other leaders that have gone ahead of us. Learn, leaders are learners. It's super, super important with our team. So we've talked through the four pillars of business. Again, recruiting, retaining those people that you've recruited, duplicating, helping those people get money in their pocket, and then leadership, raising that leadership lid so that way your team can continue to grow and thrive. Um, so that, that's our business. Simple, it is challenging, it takes a lot of work, but it is a million percent worth it. And this is my favorite quote we'll leave you with here. The greatest factor that leads to success is your decision. Whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. So make a decision, be relentless, parentheses, have no back door, and be committed to do whatever it takes. I hope that that was helpful. I, ho I know that was a very, very fast run through, but whether you have not even signed up as a customer or you've been here for three years, that is how you grow a business, all four areas. And if you focused on all four areas and your belief in the products, your belief in yourself, your belief in this business model, and your belief of where you're going is high, there's no stopping you. And I'm telling you that it is 1 million percent worth it. And this is coming from a girl who used to work at a craft backyard house from as like an assistant. I had to go to a uh, teen pregnancy clinic because I had no insurance when we were 30 years old pregnant. So like, and now everything has changed because of Plexus. Everything has changed. And I can't scream from the rooftops enough that it is worth it. And we hope that you dive deep in here. And we hope that you take this seriously and you run because it will bless you greatly. Thank you all so much for being on. Sorry that we're seven minutes late. But I appreciate you guys for taking the time for being on. I'm going to stay on and see if anybody has any questions. Feel free to jump off. Thank you guys for being here.